hello friends welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to connect to azure sql database from your visual studio code so basically if you have any requirement like this you want to connect to your azure sql db from visual studio code then how you are going to do that the complete step we are going to discuss as part of this video tutorial now now, before starting this functionality, we have three prerequisites needed here. Those are Azure account, you must have an Azure account or subscription. And if you don't have, I have already uh, written one article on this, how to create a free Azure subscription or Azure account. I will put that link in the video description. You can just follow that link and uh, create a free Azure account. The second thing is what you need is a Visual Studio Code must be installed in your local machine. And the third one is you must create an Azure SQL database before starting this functionality, right? So if you have not created the Azure SQL database till now, uh, I will again put one more link which I have written an article separately. That link I'm going to put it in the video description. You can just Check out that link and create your own database. Okay. Even I have made also a video tutorial on this. I will put those links as well. Okay. You can follow this video tutorial, that video tutorial to create the Azure SQL DB and Azure account, free Azure account. Both the video tutorial link, I'm going to put it in the video description. Okay. Now, these are the three uh, requisites needed here. Assuming that you are ready with all these three things, we will move to the actual functionality. Let's, let me go there. What I'll do is, as a first step, I will go and open the Visual Studio Code. I will search for Visual Studio Code in my local machine. Okay. Now what we need to do is, let, you can able to see the extensions uh, icon. Click on that and search here for ms sql okay. just search for ms sql and you will get this as the search result right sql server within bracket ms sql okay just click on that and click on the install button so it will install it quickly Now you can able to see it is installed uh, successfully. The moment it will install, you can able to see here the SQL server icon you can able to see on the left navigation after the installation, okay? Now the, as the next step, just click on that. And after that, you click on add connection. The moment you will do that, it will ask you your Azure SQL DB server name, okay? So what I'll do is I'll go to Azure portal now and here I can, I will search for SQL databases. You can able to see here, click on that and you can able to see here, this is the Azure license DB is my Azure SQL database. Click on that and here is the server name. You can able to see here, Azure license dot database.windows.net click i'll just click on the copy button next to this name which will uh, copy to the clipboard okay now i will go to visual studio code again and i will paste that name here and press enter key from the keyboard okay now what it is asking is it is asking me the database name right the database name is Azure Lessons DB. You can able to see here it is Azure Lessons DB, right? So I'll go here again. I will put that here and again I'll press enter. Now we have to choose the authentication type. So, so here you have three options. Select the option that you have chosen during the creation of the Azure SQL database. Okay, 
So during that time, whatever authentication type you have chosen, that you have to choose here. So I have chosen their SQL login. So I will just click on SQL log login. And then uh, whatever username you have provided during the creation time, you need to provide that one now. I will say Raskishore, which is, which is the username for me that I have provided during the creation time. Then press enter. Now we need to provide the password which we have entered during the creation time of the Azure SQL database. So I will enter that. Now I will after entering the password, just press the enter button again. Now what it is asking whether you want to save this password for uh, uh, like connecting next time onwards. If it, you will say yes, then it will not ask you the password again it will save it okay if it will you will say no each time you will try to connect this as your sql db it will ask you to enter the password so i will say no here and then now what it is asking you have to enter a profile name which is optional but let me enter it i will say my azure sql con and then I will press enter. The moment we'll do that, now it, it should connect me to my Azure SQL database. You can able to see here, we are able to connect to our Azure SQL database successfully. So I would like to add one more point here. After entering the profile name, meaning after the last step, when you will press enter, there might be a chance you will get an error, okay, which is, I'll just show you that error screenshot for your reference. If by chance you will get this, then, so you can able to see here, this is the error I was talking about. If by chance you, you have encountered this error, that is an instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to SQL Server. Basically, this is a connection error. Okay. And uh, if you are getting this error, I have already made one video tutorial on how to fix this error. That also I'm going to put it in the video description. You can follow that video tutorial on fix this error. Okay. Then after fixing this error, you you will be able to you know, connect to your Azure SQL database from Visual Studio Code successfully. Okay. So that's it for today. I thought to show you quickly how to connect to your Azure SQL database from your Visual Studio Code. And we have discussed the complete steps how to do that. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so that you'll get lots of free videos on different Azure articles, different helpful Azure PowerShell commands and Azure CLI commands. Thanks a lot and have a nice day. Bye-bye.